Welcome back, boys and girls. Outdoors Jeff again. I just wanted to do an update on the Pepper Project here for you. I know a couple of you have been asking me how it's going, what I've changed, and I had run into a couple of issues. Uh, as you can see, um, this is what we were working with last time. Pretty ghetto. Um, this is what we've evolved to here. We've moved up to the, uh, the Vivo Sun Grow Tent. Um, it is a 60 inches high, 48 wide, and 2 inches deep. Um, I have one of the vents open at the bottom here, as you can see, uh, letting some air through. Uh, it's a nice tent. It's, it's got multiple ports for hooking up fans, uh, tubing, electrical, maybe you're doing hydroponics, whatever. Uh, there's one on the... Yeah, well, no, sorry, two on the left side. You got one on the bottom here, too. Um, <clears throat> there's one big one up top here. That would make for a nice exhaust uh, fan or something like that, pushing air up or down. We got one on the right side. And another one at the bottom on the right side. And there is one in the back. We can't see it because I got it up against that. So, I mean, we got a total of two, four, five, six ports on this thing. There's also a vent on this side I have covered up. I didn't want that much air circulation coming through because it does get cold down here on the floor level. Um, <clears throat> so, we'll give you a quick peek inside here. Pretty, uh, sorry it's so dark in here. Uh, pretty rugged zippers. I like these. These, these are pretty uh, heavy duty. I don't foresee those ever breaking anytime soon. Um, let's give you a peek inside. It's going to be bright. There we go. So I got the uh, 600 watt LED set up, suspended from the crossbar at the top here. Um, they even comes with uh, storage pouches here. Like, uh, like really kind of cool. Kind of a cool feature. You can throw little tools in here, you know, snips, whatever you're working with. Uh, not a huge fan of how all these strings hang down. I could tuck them up inside, I guess, and kind of stick them in the pouches. I just don't want this hanging on the outside of the tent looking like an eyesore. Um, it was a little tricky getting the light to hang straight. Uh, I had to kind of play with the wire a little bit and uh, move it around. But So the plants themselves, um, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I cannot complain. Getting a lot of leaf growth coming in now. Uh, they're looking strong, looking real good. Uh, I was running into the problem, as you can see with some of these over here. Uh, the leaf curl going on, shriveled up looking leaf. Uh, I was trying some different things. Uh, everybody was saying light and calcium. I tried it to no success and kept happening. So I talked to a friend of mine at a garden center and <clears throat> she gave me some fertilizer. said, try this. And, uh, the mistake I was making, she said, was one, uh, lack of nutrient, and two, we had them kind of sitting in their own juices here. Uh, as you can see now, I have a, a, a barrier between, just do some little gravel, glass bead in there, sets it off the bottom now, see? They sit in their own juices, so I was explained that... Um, they suck up, they're sucking up their own acidity um, and other things that the plant might release. It's just watering it right back. It's sucking up it back into its own roots, and that will cause the leaf curl like that. And also, it creates an overwatering problem. You can have root rot and all that. So now, instead of watering from the bottom, like uh, I had learned to do from... Some other growers, and maybe it works for them. I'm, I'm not shooting it down. Uh, I know that's usually kind of a standard with uh, seedlings. You get water from the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> so I stopped doing that. We stopped watering from the bottom. Uh, and now water from the top with, with a fertilizer feed. And we have that gap in every little vessel here now. So they're not sitting in their own liquid. We let them dry out, and I can't believe within a few days I went from shriveled leaves to 
nice big vibrant leaves like that within a few days yeah, really impressive uh what a difference that made so um yeah i'm loving these little, little guys they're a little tough to tell with the light but uh these little guys here uh black pearls i love the yeah, that is a beautiful looking pepper leaf that that, that is really what a, what a nice purple purple color um stays like that its whole life too i believe we got a couple more going here um so that's what's going on with the with the pepper project we're looking good uh again this is the first time for me starting indoors like this i usually buy grown plants stick them in the ground so uh it, this has definitely been a learning process and i, and I hope some people uh, if anybody's watching if you didn't know what you were doing either, I hope you learned something from my mistakes. Uh, that's the best I can hope for. Um, but this is a pretty cool grow tent. I like it. it. It does take up a little more space than I want in my living room. But uh, whereas my bin was full before, I got room for maybe another uh, 12 plants or so. So that's kind of cool. My wife will love that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're looking good. Uh, I cannot complain. I just wanted to do the quick video on that. I'm happy with it. Uh, I do have a fan coming in the mail, actually, uh, tomorrow. It's got the little viewing window. I can cover this up also with a, a piece that comes with it and sticks to the Velcro around the edge. Um, the light itself does have fans that cool it, that circulate a little bit of air. Eh, I, I'm more so, uh, you, when you grow plants inside, you got to train them to be able to tolerate uh, wind. Or you can put them outside come spring and put them into shock. They, they can't support themselves and uh, you can get some real damage to your plants that way. So I have a small, uh, same brand, uh, Vivo Sun fan that, that it clips onto the poles inside. You can mount, you can face it. Uh, I believe it swivels. Uh, it, it'll, it'll put a little air on those plants. Keep them, keep them a little stimulated. Keep them moving. I uh, shouldn't cool them down too much. I'm going to clip it up high so I'm more pushing the heat down, if anything. <clears throat> but uh, it's a cool tent. The whole inside is, uh, you know, the the, the mylar type uh, material. Very lightweight. Uh, it went together very quick. I, I probably had this whole thing together in 10 minutes, uh, believe it or not, out of the box. So um, it's great. They make bigger ones. They make much bigger ones. And that's awesome and i hope someday i have the room to put a bigger one in my house or a basement or something uh just not right now <laughs> anyway that's it boys and girls i hope uh, you enjoyed the video um yeah i never asked for likes or anything like that I, I could care less about that stuff that's not what i'm here for i'm not, I'm not a i'm not a youtube uh fanatic or attention whore like some people so I, I don't care about the likes. Uh, just watch it and learn something. That's all I care about. I really don't care. If, if one person watches this and learns something, uh, that goal achieved. You know what I mean? But, uh, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will keep you updated on the progress of the peppers. And hopefully uh, by August, September, we're making some uh, tasty treats out of these little buggers here. All right. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Have a great day.